So we're up at the hunting cabin right now, and Josh just saw the buck, so we're about to go over and see if we can find it. I think we'll be able to find it in the Sherpa, Josh? Oh, yeah. All right. No Excellent. <laughs> Not too hard of a uh, recovery, right, Josh? No. Nope. Nope. Should be in the ditch right next to the road. But I get to use my Sherp trailer for the first time, so we'll see. I think it'll fit in there, or is it too big? It'll be close. It'll be close. <laughs> All right. The boys are performing the surgery there, eh, by golly, maybe bring them back to life? So that ditch is fairly deep, as you probably can see right there. It's probably about 10 feet down. So to get a little bit of practice with the Sherp, with the trailer, and make it a little bit easier instead of dragging it all the way back up the hill, we decided to take the Sherp down into the ditch and go get it. Now that's a lot steeper than what it looks, um, but it performed flawlessly. This ditch, again, is very, very deep. Um, a lot of big rocks, little different obstacles on there. This was Josh's first time inside of the Sherp, so he got a little bit of a thrill, too. Um, got a little bit nervous. That tree right there, we actually cut that thing down. I wanted to get it the heck out of the way because I didn't want it to hit it with the roof. I probably could have went through, did use the silky saw. Unfortunately, we did not capture that on video. But once we got her down, just drive over it, like, you know, with everything. Uh, I do have that trailer on the back, too, and it just plops through that nice as could be. Love the sound of that breaking dead timber. up to the end of the ditch here so I had to swing a Yui right here to go around but I can't turn too sharp or I will jackknife that trailer I need to be kind of careful again you can see that trailer from the back through the window um, but it's not as easy as what you would think it would be uh, to do that get a little bit of guidance get a little bit of help here as you can hear oh 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 You were one just a minute ago. You got about a foot. Back up about a foot. That's it. That's it. You, oh, you're hitting it. You're hitting it. Dan! You're hitting it. You got it. Okay, now back up. Back up yeah, you could back up now, or are you going to just load it right there? That's fine. So we were able to load that buck in the back of the Sherp trailer. We did not have the Sherp trailer door on, actually on purpose, because we thought it would be a better shot as we were driving out to be able to see that buck sticking its head out of that trailer. And honestly, I just completely forgot, there's that buck, I completely forgot. And when I drove out of the ditch, back up to the normal grade, the buck slipped out of the back of the trailer. Uh, don't Didn't catch that on video here, but you will see us throwing it back in at the end. Deer sleeping in the back. Coming out with the shirt. Here's that spot where I was talking about where the deer actually slips right out of the back. But the boys got their muscles and they basically pulled her back in real quick, threw her back in. Appreciate you watching. Please comment and subscribe. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.